All right, Rob, it's, it's nine o'clock. So this is it. I think we're getting started with the digital fundraising summit. All right, <laughs> nine o'clock somewhere. So let's get this started. All right, so everybody, welcome to the digital fundraising summit hosted by Cosvox. Uh, my name is Rob Wu. I am the CEO and one of the founders of Cosvox. And also you have? And my name is Candice. I run success in education here at Cosvox. So we're super excited, we're pumped. Uh, over here at Cosvox for this digital fundraising summit. Uh, over here at Cosvox, you know, what we do is kind of before we dive into the summit stuff is we are a digital fundraising platform for nonprofits and charities. I started this company around 10, 11 years ago. I don't know, this is the longest job I've ever had and I love it. Uh, started it because we wanted to help nonprofits learn how to raise funds with less effort as well as to accelerate the social impact by getting more resources more quickly. So that's what Cosvox does. We are a fundraising software that helps you do any type of virtual fundraising, any type of digital fundraising without the complexity, without the clunkiness of older, less modern fundraising tools. A couple of things you can do with our fundraising platform over here at Cosvox. The first one is your donation form. So during the summit, we're gonna talk about a unique fundraising methodology that's super simple, that always works. And one of the parts is around the conversion experience of when a donor reads your story and then wants to make a donation. And how do you make it easy for them to make that happen? So one of the things that we saw over here at Cosvox is this ability to help convert more donors with less clunkiness through our donation forms that are mobile optimized, that are developed to convert donors and make a donation as well as uh, they're developed to help streamline the whole experience for your, your team as well as um, the people donating to you. Another thing you can do, especially this year when it comes to virtual fundraising, when things are going digital is peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. Uh, so with peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, this allows you to acquire more donors with less effort. So you're basically using your network to get them to raise funds on your behalf through personal fundraising pages, as well as team fundraising pages. Over here at Cosvox, we've seen a, a huge growth in peer-to-peer -peer fundraising where folks are taking not only their fundraising events and tying in a virtual component, virtual peer-to-peer -peer component to it, or they're launching campaigns where are just peer-to-peer -peer related. Uh, we tend to see twice as many donations come in through peer-to-peer -peer donations uh, when compared to just regular donation forms. So this allows you to make fundraising personal, allows you to cut through the noise of everything going on online, and allows you to reach new donors more quickly. Another thing when it comes to digital fundraising that we serve in is around crowdfunding. So if you just want to launch a crowdfunding campaign for let's say you're giving Tuesday campaign later this year, or if you just wanna launch a crowdfunding campaign to uh, raise funds for PPE and face masks and face shields, that's something you can do on Cosflux as well. Uh, our customers raise more with less effort. We serve small charities all the way to large nonprofits, uh, churches, schools, ministries, as well as your traditional 5-1-C-3 and some, and some 5 c 4 So no matter how large you are, no matter how small you are, as well as no matter where you are, you can use Cosflux for all of your fundraising. So if you wanna learn more information about Cosvox, and this isn't meant to be a sales pitch, feel free to check us out on our website, cosvox.com. Uh, you can find out a lot of info over there. Uh, we do have this ability for you to schedule a demo um, or schedule a conversation. So you'll see a little chat box on the bottom right that's just get in your face and maybe annoy you a little bit. So feel free to chat us in, uh, and one of our folks would be happy to find a time with you to have a conversation. Or if you just want to poke around, we do have a free trial as well as a basic plan that is 100% free. So one of the things we shifted to uh, because of the coronavirus is to help drop the fees so that more nonprofits don't have to carve out additional funding to do fundraising. So you can use our free plan. There's no monthly fee, no annual contracts, and no Cosvox platform fee as well. So it's basically free. So uh, feel free to check us out, Cosvox.com. Uh, for this Digital Fundraising Summit, we do have a collection of amazing sponsors. So I want to kind of hand it to Candice to talk through a few of them. Yeah, I'm so excited for our summit sponsors. Uh, 
Thank you so much, Kindful, Cathexis Partners, Bloomerang, Hive Digital, Mobilize, Community Boost, and uh, Corporate <laughs> Giving Collaborative uh, for coming on as our sponsors for our summit. Um, they have shared it with their communities um, and then also uh, helps make this free and available for all of you. So a uh, big shout out to the sponsors and thanks for coming on board. We also have a summit discount package coming your way. So um, alongside your registration, you're also going to get access to this discount package so that you can access the right tech to help you really run all of your digital marketing and fundraising easily. Um, Causebox is offering 50% off all of our plans. So if you are interested in checking us out, um, take advantage of the 50% off offer. Um, Bloomerang Mobilize, uh, your nonprofit coach um, are all offering options. You can take a look at this list later and I'll go into more details as uh, later this afternoon, but you're gonna get access to links to really take advantage of all of these discounts. So uh, we're gonna start with our digital fundraising summit today. I see Jeremy already joined, Jeremy, Jeremy Bivens, our next speaker. And really what the Digital Fundraising Summit is all about is um, before the coronavirus, we saw that marketing and fundraising were typically a bit siloed. But what's happening now with digital first uh, marketing and fundraising, there's what we're calling the great convergence. So marketing and fundraising um, best practices are rapidly overlapping where it's quickly kind of becoming one of the same. So the things that help you grow uh, your marketing also help you grow your fundraising. So the best marketers are also the best fundraisers. What's so, interesting is that uh, we had this theory around the great convergence for uh, quite a few years now where we, we saw the best digital fundraisers they had the tool sets and skills of a amazing digital marketer. But the interesting is that come February or March this year, that acceleration happened a lot quicker than we expected, where the timeline that we were working with before was that it would be a gradual transition over the course of about five to seven years. But now we're seeing that this change needs to happen and is happening within the one to two year time frame, as a lot of fundraising playbooks have been thrown out. And then a lot of organizations are trying to figure out how do we take the best practices of digital marketing? How do we apply it to our organization? How we do fundraising from that? So that's one of the themes that we wanted to explore during this digital fundraising summit of how we can help make this transition easier. And we believe that the nonprofits that will thrive from this transition are the ones that are the first and quick to adopt digital marketing best practices and integrate it into their existing fundraising strategy or the ones that actually come up with a new digital fundraising strategy for their organization. So we're excited to explore that today uh, with you all. Um, one of the fundamental things that I would like to frame this summit with is uh, we work with a lot of organizations here at Cosbox, uh, helping them raise millions of dollars. And what's interesting is that still a lot of fundraising is thought of as a project where it's, okay, I have an event or I have a defined start and end date for my fundraising and then I just start and stop. One of the challenges of this is that there's always uh, this inertia where it's hard to start and then once it stops, everything just stops. So it's hard to begin again. Uh, the analogy I have is like, let's say you're pushing, pushing a ball, pushing a boulder, pushing a wheel, whatever you're pushing. And once you stop pushing that, whatever the object is, then it becomes a lot harder to start pushing it again. So what, one of the things I want to encourage our audience to think about, especially for this summit, is that fundraising isn't a project. It's a process. And because it's a process, it's something that you need to do every single day. And there's three parts to this process. So the first part is about attracting. How do you attract an audience to your organization or to your website or to your campaign site or you know, whatever it is? How do you attract people, get them interested? And how do you get your message and your idea into um, the, the awareness of your potential audience or your existing donors? From there, how do you nurture this group of folks so that they can get more excited or more interested in the work that you do. But then lastly, after you nurture them, after they're ready, 
that's when you actually want to make an ask. That's when you want to convert them to make a donation or convert them to become a peer-to-peer -peer fundraiser or even convert them to become promoters for you so you, they can amplify your message. If you don't do attraction and nurture stages, then you'll never get to convert. A lot of times organizations jump straight to convert uh, and they see the results that are not exciting. So when it comes to fundraising, especially for this summit, think through these three steps. How do the insights that the speakers are telling you, how do they fit in? And of course, Candace, as well as our speakers will help you navigate this and help bucket in some of these insights. But think about for your organization, you know, uh, what Jeremy is gonna talk about uh, uh, on our first session. Where does it fit in over here for you? And how can those tips really help you expand the work that you do? Thanks, Rob. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to get into it uh, today. So day one is really all around digital marketing for fundraising. So that's our theme of the day. So you'll see that throughout our programming. Um, so up next is Cruise Control, 10 Ways to Get More Done in Less Time by Jeremy Bivens. So um, he'll be starting in just a moment. And then you're going to hear more about how to earn more search exposure from John Gibbings at Hive Digital. Um, 11 o'clock, we're diving into how to grow your social media audience with ads, primarily through Facebook ads by Julia Campbell and Susu Wong. Um, at noon Eastern, we're going to dive into how to make your website work for your community. So uh, UX tips for engagement, get some more donations coming in through your website. Um, so that is being led by Emily from Ele Ele Elevation Web. <laughs> um, 1 p.m. We have an amazing session I'm really looking forward to. Um, more than a statement, acting on commitments to equity in fundraising and beyond, which is going to be a panel discussion hosted by Tristan Penn um, from N10. So that's going to be a really insightful discussion. I hope that all of you can join for that. And following up right after, I'm so excited for this. Uh, Beth Cantor and Allison Fine for the last couple years have been studying artificial intelligence and how it interacts with fundraising. So uh, join us for that amazing session at 2 p.m. to uh, learn more about AI and how you can use it at your organization. And then 3 p.m. we're doing Wellness at Work, Why Self-Care at Nonprofits Matters More Than Ever by Kelly McLaughlin. 3.20, uh, following up, uh, you're going to learn more about becoming a graphic designer with Canva. So that is joining us from friends, our, at our friends over at CGC. And 4 p.m., we're going to talk about live streaming. So that's going to be a session that's a very hot topic at the moment, something that I've been asked about a lot um, recently uh, at, with a lot of the organizations that we work with. So Alana Jockler is going to be joining us and giving us a lot of the best practices for live streaming at your organization. 445, you'll have Rob and I back to close everything out and you're going to get a special message from Cathexis Partners, our sponsor. And then at five, I hope you can all stay on. We're going to have a very ridiculous comedy session improv zoom comedy from tiny cupboard and that is sponsored by cathexis partners and kindful day two tomorrow uh you're going to hear more about how to raise more through digital fundraising so all the best practices around optimizing digital fundraising so we'll go over more of that programming later so what you can expect tomorrow um, before we uh, turn it over to Jeremy, just wanted to let you know that we are doing some giveaways throughout our time today. So um, we'll be announcing the first winner later. Um, so probably in our wrap up session, actually. So we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. And so uh, if you bring a friend, if you get someone to register, you are entered for a chance to win one of two $50 gift cards. Second $50 gift card will be announced tomorrow. And we are also going to be giving out some surprise boozy prizes. So uh, <laughs> take a look out for that. I see some questions. Will a recording be available? Yes, it will. So notes and recordings are going to be available for $30. Um, we have our uh, professional note takers on our team uh, taking notes as we speak. And they'll be, um, you'll get access to those official summit notes and then all of the recordings of all of the sessions for $30. This is 50% off until 
Thursday. So um, you can go ahead and check out that purchase link. Um, if Jenna, you want to paste that in the chat, that would be great for people to go there and purchase the notes and recordings of all the sessions. And also a great thing to replay later and share with your team.